point triple double unreal Stephen A you got to be pretty excited about this Brooklyn team what did you learn from that one game alone about Harden's arrival well I learned that the Brooklyn Nets are going to the NBA Finals mm. with or without Kyrie Irving uh Kyrie Irving may be the determining factor in winning the chip but they won't need him to get to the finals. All you need is for him not to be a distraction. I don't care whether he is a distraction or not. James Harden and Kevin Durant going to the finals. I don't see anybody stopping them. It's just that simple. And, and did you see KD? Mm -hmm. did, 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 you, did you see him? I recall sitting on this set with a guy by the name of Max Kellerman. Max Maximilian. I don't know. I, Max, whatever. Maximus. Old Max, whatever. Old Maximus, whatever the hell his name is. Okay. I recall sitting and I said, yo, I understand the stuff about the Achilles. But this is not a dude whose game is predicated on his athleticism. He's a sniper who's 6'11 with a 7'6 wingspan and ball handling skills. This brother, there's nothing you can do to him in his sleep. He will average 25. Well, guess what? I was wrong. He's averaging 30. Okay, I was wrong. He's averaging 30, okay? On 54% shooting and 48% from three-point range in his, ten, in his first 10 games back from an Achilles tear after an 18-month layoff. He's averaging 30. Yeah. He ain't even getting He looks okay yet. to me. He, he ain't even get warmed up yet, okay? And so now you got Harden in there. Yeah. And Harden, with his ability to pass the ball, mm. we're questioning his, you know, he dribbles the ball, whatever. Harden will pass. Harden will accumulate assists. And we know what he could do point-wise, particularly one-on-one. -on -one. Lord have mercy. You, 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 Brooklyn going to the finals. Brooklyn is going to the finals. That's all I do. That's what I learned. Well, first of all, KD, actually, one of the remar remarkable things about him so far is his athletic ability, his athleticism, as it were, doesn't look affected at all. He looks like the same guy. He's had an amazing recovery. Let me say this. Um, they still have a fighting chance to get to the finals with Harden and without Kyrie. That we, But I can't say, oh, they're definitely going to the finals without Kyrie. And this is why, Stephen A., the Harden move accomplished a couple things. It was a muscular move, right? It, it did more than one thing at one time. It was a hedge against Kyrie imploding or not being available because you brought in a superstar that gives you a premium at the highest level, even above Kyrie or almost everyone in the NBA, to pair with a guy even better than him in KD. And that could make up for a lack of depth, which didn't used to be the problem when the season started. First, the Dinwiddie injury. Then they trade Levert and Allen, and then Levert has some scary medical news, or some kind of a growth on his, on his uh, uh, kidney, like, you know, you hope he's okay. But there are three guys of their six best players who aren't there. Look, like, that, that's three out of a nice starting five. Levert and Dinwiddie, kind of quasi all-star level, and Allen, who's very good. They're all gone. So to make up for that, they got, you know, counterintuitively, instead of looking for more depth to fill it in, they said, no, we're going to go high end. To make up for it they bring in Harden what Harden showed with KD is yeah he can play with KD easy and they're going to be really good but that's two guys they have now they don't have any of their other best players including maybe Kyrie so because of how thinned out the team is in order to bring on Harden partly as a hedge against Kyrie's absence you actually really do need two things for Kyrie to be there for those guys so it's three stars and for Kyrie not to gum up the works, not to throw a monkey wrench into everything, because Harden and KD seem to know how to play together. Oh, Max Kellerman, why don't you just tell the truth to the American people? You holding on to Milwaukee, bro? I mean, you wrong two years in a row. You said that you went from Giannis being the best player in the world to number five over a weekend. And then this in the bubble, you picked them to beat Miami. You were wrong about those two things. Is that what this is about, Max? You holding on hope because they got Drew Holiday and they still kept Middleton and they got Giannis, the Greek freak. Are you still holding on to Milwaukee coming out of the East? Is that what this is all about? You going for the three strikes? And you're no, out? I'd rather how much you love. I baseball? would much rather. I would much rather Brooklyn come out of the East. A New York team that's not the Knicks I'm playing for a championship against the Lakers probably would be I'm amazing. I'm not holding I'm on to Milwaukee. I'm just saying Brooklyn's it's going to take finals. more than two guys. Yeah, yeah, two guys. 
uh, defensively. Offensively, they don't need anything but those two. <laughs> it's like that. Yeah, I'm just sad I can't go to games. Court. You will be. I well, think you will be by the time July rolls around. Hopefully soon. Last year I went July, to a few. By the time uh, June, July rolls around, you'll be able to That was a lot of fun. I yeah. hope so. All right. Uh, we'll leave it there, I guys. So. When we come back, we're going to recap. Choose this. Allow me to introduce myself indeed. First 30-point triple-double in a team debut all time. Seventh player with any sort of triple-double in a team debut all time. Let's hear from the beard. Hey James, congrats again on the win. Uh, your teammates out there learning, getting to know you. What did you, though, learn about your teammates tonight? Uh, we have some special talent in this locker room. Uh, very versatile um, shooters, playmakers, um, defenders, a little bit of everything. And that's what you're going to need, especially when it comes postseason. Uh, obviously, we haven't built you know as much chemistry as we, as we would like. But uh, that first game, it felt good to be out there on the court and, and just, you know, give me guys confidence, give me guys energy. And that's what it's going to take throughout the course of the year. Uh, and once you build that up and guys believe in each other, then uh, it's pretty scary. Malika Andrews with ESPN. Hey, James, I'm, I'm wondering if there was any sense of this was like riding a bike, getting back out with the Kevin Durant. I'm a hooper. So I just... Uh, uh, like I said, I'm very unselfish. I'm, I'm, I'm willing to just do whatever it takes to win. And obviously, KD is just a, you know, elite, like just different type of, of basketball player as far as um, the way he's able to score the basketball. Um, it's so easy for him, and I know that. So uh, I just want to make it a little bit more easier if I can. Um, and then, you know, for the rest of the teammates, our shooters and our bigs, make it easier for them. Um, so, yeah, it was pretty easy out there. Greg Logan with Newsday. James, uh, yesterday you said when you were asked what talent do you need to improve or emphasize or whatever, you said playmaking. And it seemed like that's what you were concentrating on tonight. You got everybody shots, you distributed the ball, you moved it quickly, and then when you had to, you turned it on offensively. So. Can you say is that do you expect that to be your approach going forward, especially when they add Kyrie Irving to the mix? Uh, for me, I'm just, you know, I have so many dimensions to my game. Um, I just take whatever the defense gives me. I play the game the right way, or at least I try to uh, every possession. Um, and just takes whatever, you know, the d defense is giving me. And like I say, whoever has the hot hand, um, that's who, who deserves the ball. You know, the, the, the basketball finds energy. It finds people that have good energy, good spirit. So uh, that's what I try to bring to the game tonight. Brian Lewis with the New York Post. Hey, James. It's uh, hard to get in somebody else's head. But, I mean, you made it pretty clear that you wanted to be in Brooklyn. And at least it seemed like you were really enjoying yourself out there tonight. I, I'm just curious, now that the game's over, I mean, did it feel like what you expected? And how did it feel? How would you describe it? It felt unbelievable. Uh, I mean, I hope you can tell by my smile and, and my play. Um, just excited, excited, and uh, for the opportunity. This is an unbelievable organization from top to bottom, and uh, you know, for me, all I have to do is just go out there and, and, and be the best, you know, James Harden I can be, and um, you know, good things will happen. Christian Winfield with the New York Daily News. Hey James, you know, one thing about you and, and Kyrie and KD uh, as it pertains to you guys' offenses, offensive talent is that you guys can kind of tell what the defense is going to do before they do it. Uh, how do you think that is going to help guys like Joe, uh, guys like DeAndre, when the defense can't really help off of, you know, we saw today, defense can't help off of Joe, he's going to hit a three, defense can't hit off, help off of the guy down low, you got to throw the lob up, up top. Uh, how, how does that make this team better that you guys all know what the defense is going to do and they can't really double you? Once we go through every scenario and it's only maybe four or five that teams can really do against us and throughout the course of the year that's going to happen, once we figure out, okay, they're doing this tonight, this is how we attack it, or they're doing this tonight, this is how we attack it. Once we get that, um, it's, it's, it's basically up to us. And I, I'm so excited for Kyrie to get back. You know, he's a, he's a you know key piece to what we're trying to do. And um, you know, the chemistry. As soon as we can build that, um, as soon as we can be on the court together, um, it's going to be scary hours. Alex Schiffer with the Athletic. 
Hey James, Jill and Kevin were kind of saying how you know early on everyone was maybe a little too pass happy and, and not <laughs> as much as just what point in the game did, did you kind of start to feel you got into a rhythm and got comfortable? I mean, I had what nine turnovers throughout the game and maybe six or seven of them were to you know looking to get guys and DeAndre get get them lives. That's me being unselfish. Uh, you know, that's me trying to get guys involved. But at the end of the day, I just still got to be a, a, a player at the end of the day and score when I need to score and when the, when the pass is there, do it. So um, first game, I'm happy to get it out the way. Now we can watch some film uh, and get ready for our next opponent. Brian Mahoney with the Associated Press. Hey, James, uh, how did your preparation today? Did you know for sure you'd get to play, or if not, when did you find out? And, um, you know, without not knowing many of the kind of plays and things like that, is it almost more fun that you get to figure it out yourself a little bit more as opposed to kind of having things scripted? I mean, you know, I have, you know, had multiple conversations with our coaching staff on, on what we're trying to accomplish on both ends of the ball. So uh, pretty much I'm familiar with it, and I know, you know, um, you know where, where, where spots where to put our, our, our players in. And then it makes it easy when you have Kevin Durant on your team who can take some of the pressure off of you as well. So, um, like I said, it's a long way to go. It's a process, but I think just watching film, getting better, learning where guys like to be. Um, we have some unbelievable shooters, trying to get them more shots so they can feel more involved in the offense, um, getting our bigs more, um, you know, uh, pain points and just kind of directing people and guiding people to where, you know, they, sh they should be so they can be more effective. I think once that happens, our team will be a lot better. Ian Begley with SNY. James, it's not a basketball question, but could you share anything about what you had to give Landry uh, Shamit for number 13? I'm sure he'll post it when I give it to him. <laughs> nah, that's, that's, that's big time, though. For him to sacrifice that, uh, you know, I got to make sure, you know, I get him some. And last question, Jen Williams with Fox 5 New York. Hey James, um, you came to Bro uh, you said you came to Brooklyn to play for a contender. I know it's just the game, first game, but keeping that in mind, how are you feeling about that decision after the first game? Uh, it felt great. I mean, even from when I stepped foot into uh, the building, you know, it was open arms, and uh, like I said, it's anything I need, they're, they're there for me. Um, they're making sure I'm, I'm getting my work in, making sure that you know everything 